All right, Sean, thanks. Well, we've covered the highlights of the game. The merchandise is in the process of being produced. So what about the commercials? They are pricey. A 30-second spot cost $5.2 million during the game. And joining us right now, Steve Wolfberg is one of the owners from Cronin. We're talking about this. I've told you I didn't watch any of the game. I watched the pregame. So you're going to lead us through the favorites. Ready to rock and roll. I, I, I watched enough of the spots for all of us, believe me. Time and time again. All right, so where should we start? Well, start wherever you like. I mean, to me, uh, an, an overarching thing would be as much like the game, I think the spots were kind of grinded out, block and tackle, smash mouth advertising, nothing really stood out. Much like the game was kind of just a basic kind of a game and nothing super, super exciting. No flea flickers, no Statue of Liberty plays, no Hail Mary. So the, the, the spots were, were good, but not great, I didn't think. And a lot of people, if you read the, uh, the, 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 the word on the internet, uh, kind of agreed. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Look at sure. the uh, T-Mobile one. Great. Yeah, this, this were really uh, my favorite spots of the night. There were four of them throughout the day, very simply executed, very relevant. We can all relate to this. We have all had uh, you know, text messages that we've started and stopped and ultimately uh, sent very simply. Um, there's some funny stuff with a dad who doesn't know how to use his phone. Very relevant, very approachable, very real. We can all relate to it as opposed to some of the other spots which featured like, you know, actors and singers who maybe didn't even know who they were. Um, and as a result, it's like, what does this have to do with me? So right. I think T-Mobile won the night for, for, the, for these, these four spots. The NFL Legends? NFL Legends was great, fun spot. Uh, I, I I liked it a lot. I didn't call it the best because it was it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's it's a, a spot about football talking to people who are watching football. So a lot of fun, some great insight stuff. Joe Montana of course throwing the ball uh, to Jerry Rice being intercepted by I think Deion Sanders. There he goes, being tackled by <laughs> I'm not sure down, who. Yeah. Uh, some fun stuff there. The Miami Dolphins wearing their ugly blue uh, <laughs> jackets from 1972, the undefeated team. Uh, Barry Sanders making his move, a couple of stunt doubles taking the crash well, there. Was probably one of the more entertaining ones. It, it right? definitely was, and I think a lot of people liked it. Appropriate. Um, you know, <laughs> Peyton Manning's very, very funny. Sore. <laughs> so, uh, good stuff. Um, but again, you know, shooting fish in a barrel, NFL, spot talking to NFL lovers. Good job, but I think T-Mobile probably did a better job of establishing its brand and differentiating it from, from other carriers. What about Expensify? Because some oh. people might not even be familiar with the company well, at well, all. Well, that's cool. And in fact, uh, the, the, the 60 minute uh, or 60 second trailer that went before it was a little more engaging and, and interesting where you would actually download the app, scan one of the receipts on the spot, and then and try to win prizes. But I like this because it had a product demonstration. Mm -hmm. um, it was very engaging. It was entertaining. Adam Scott is very funny. You yeah. know, Two chains is okay, but personally, <laughs> um, I would have preferred uh, to bump Wheezy. Okay. I don't know what that means, but someone told me to say that. I hope I can say that on television. I don't yes. even know. Okay. I have to ask you some yes. of your least favorites. <sighs> For the second year in a row, I think the M&M spot was so unbelievably appetizing. Really just felt really, felt not really as short, not as short. bad as last year, where it was uh, Danny DeVito as an M&M saying "Eat me, eat me." Uh -huh. uh, but you know, Christina Applegate, right. fun, engaging actress. Then she gets really dark at the end and threatens to, I believe, devour to eat the, the M&Ms M &Ms in the back. Okay. So you know, it's just Ooh. like kind of unappetizing, angry. I'm oh. going to. Well, she's I'm, angry. I'm, I'm, yeah, she's I'm hungry. Guessing. So she's maybe maybe angry. it's relatable to some degree, but. Um, I don't know. I didn't like that one so much. And, um, you know, I thought Amazon. I think you said Amazon fell yeah, short. Yeah, you know, too. I thought Amazon was just kind of like, why are you spending all this time talking about your failures? Um, I thought the best Alexa spot was a spot that actually Pringles did, where people told the, told the Alexa to shut up and start playing some, uh, play Funky Town. Oh. So I thought Pringles had the best Alexa spot better than actually uh, Amazon did. So, but in general, you know, hey, look, 100 million people were watching the game last night. Brands don't get that type of platform anymore. Right. So just the fact that that many people were watching, good, bad, or indifferent, your brand got out there um, and it cost a lot of money, 5.2 million for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, so, yeah. So, uh, but then uh, the game was kind of all right, too. Yeah. <laughs> Some people say it fell short, too. A little bit, but too, perhaps. perhaps. <laughs> it just came out on top. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Great to I be here. I was uh, enjoying going through them because I didn't see them. Well, the they're all online. Believe I'll, me, I they're on, on every YouTube website player. out there. You can get all caught up. For sure. Thanks okay. again. Thank you. All right. Stick with us. We have a lot more coming up.